This was the week where the subscription-based, largely pornographic site OnlyFans let its users know that they want everyone to start using their imaginations. <laughs> As they will no longer be allowing some of the most explicit content that, of course, has outraged many users of the platform and sex workers explicitly uh, who say that it is the safest way for them to earn a living. Here is one uh, once uh, someone who uses the platform for that. She says it's really just like sex workers are asked to run from one platform to another. Uh, pointing out how Tumblr's valuation dropped from a billion to three million after it wiped explicit porn from the site. We never just have a safe place to do our jobs. It's obvious that this is bad for business. You'd think so. But, uh, you know, it just it shows that, uh, you know, VCs uh, in Silicon Valley um, will literally find any reason to fuck up a good thing, uh, <laughs> especially when it comes to like uh, explicit content like porn. Yeah, you know, because they they really it's an it's the most boneheaded move. I thought it was fake right. when I first saw that there was like a, a OnlyFans may consider dropping porn pornography, and I was just like, oh, this is what is this like the onion or some shit? Like this has to be a joke. Yeah. That is their bread and butter. Yeah. you know that's it's. But it, it's real. And I was like, this is exactly like Tumblr. I remember when Tumblr did that. And I was just like, but, you do know who uses Tumblr, right? It's like. But, I thought it was just like cat memes and knitting. But I didn't know. I yeah, don't but use Tumblr for the that. The cat memes and the knitting uh, and the knitting turned into like, uh, you know, furries knitting cat suits. Okay. And then it just got more and more explicit as it went along. And then it just became like kind of a porn place and a place also for like sex workers, you know, to like sell to, you know, sell pictures and videos and whatnot. And it was like a lucrative thing for, mm -hmm. for a lot of sex workers. And like all these online sex workers want to do is just be able to, you know, do their business. And there is, you know, only fans proves that there was a high demand for this. And it's also the safest. It's yeah. the safest shit they can do. It's like the Patreon of porn. Like basically people, it's like getting people outside of the really like. Only uh, friends is my Patreon. Well, it is an only friends, only friends. but no nakeds, no nakeds, but I no, mean, it's just, a, it's a, it's a safer place. It's uh, people can get out of the kind of like mainstream porn business, which is a, you know, pretty exploitative and, and uh, this happened can with be gross. So it's, you know, why would they do this? This happened with back pages, right? Oh, well, Backpage had like a, you know, the, the whole bill that was passed against um, right. basically FOSTA SESTA. FOSTA SESTA, exactly. And, uh, you know, it's just like there's just a lot of uh, anti sex worker bills. And then there's also a lot of just anti sex worker sentiment uh, in places where you, it feels like the OnlyFans should have accepted right. its role as like, this is a place for porn people to do porn stuff. Let me let me introduce a few more uh, tidbits about this story and see if it changes things at all. So the reason that it seems that uh, OnlyFans went this way is because uh, after this Axios, as this Axios report said, um, OnlyFans couldn't secure outside investors who were reportedly hesitant to get into business with the company due to the explicit content hosted on its platform. Um, in order to ensure long-term sustainability of the platform and continue to host an inclusive community of creators and fans, we must evolve our content guidelines, the company said in a statement. Creators will continue to be allowed to post content containing nudity as long as it is consistent with our acceptable use policy. Uh, these changes are to comply with requests of our banking partners and payout providers. So, yeah, once again, if everything were just Bitcoin, this wouldn't be a problem. <laughs> um... So that that's why. Now, the most interesting thing to me, mm -hmm. other than you're right, that like Silicon Valley trying to just ruin every platform that is more. And you can apply it to porn, but you can also apply it to like, you know, pretty much anything like the dem democratization of the web of the web, you know, and mm -hmm. not having everything sort of slowly look the exact same. Right. Feels like this is just more of a like a nude Instagram is what this is going to be, which I would argue is mostly Instagram. Um, Almost. But there's someone invested that maybe they wanted to rid themselves of. So um, there was the firm reportedly wants to be taken more seriously. And with the help of clean cut investors with deep pockets, it could partially buy out porn baron Leo Leonid Leo Redvinsky, who holds a majority stake in the company. And I was like, who is this guy? 
Well, Radvinsky is uh, not a great guy. So mm. 20 years ago, before the internet pornography was widely available for free, he ran an empire of websites that advertised access to illegal and hacked passwords to porn sites, i.e. not giving porn stars and porn websites their money, having workarounds, uh, including ones that were advertisers featuring uh, underage performers. In the late 1990s, such link sites were common and were used to market not just pornography, but online gambling and other gray market activities. Mm -hmm. I didn't know what gray market was. I'm not so, sure either. Apparently, maybe they're trying to get rid of this douchebag yeah. who doesn't sound like a good person. Yeah, but it also sounds like, um, I mean, I don't, I don't know the story around them trying to, I mean, if they're trying to say, well, the reason that we need investors is so that we can get rid of this guy. It just, that doesn't, uh, I, I would have to hear more about that because that sounds like, uh, can't you just buy out investors? You're yeah. saying you, you can't just buy them out? I mean, it, it just, it, that sounds kind of like bullshit to It me. sounds like bullshit that they couldn't find the money, that they're not making money. They take 20% of right. users' uh, income. And not it's only that, but to me, the idea that they're like, well, we couldn't sell, you know, uh, we wanted more investors for more funding. And it's just like, what is, you don't need infinite growth in OnlyFans. I'm sorry. What, mm. what else, what are you going to do? Buy an uh, OnlyFans stadium? Like, what are you trying to do here? The, the idea that there's not, feel like there's there's not enough money is crazy to me. Yeah, that is crazy. Yeah. It does feel like they're just like if Facebook were to buy them, they'd be like, thank God. Right. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Uh, which would be hell. I think that nobody wants to see Zuckerberg naked. But that, well, not I mean, even his wife. No. I mean, first um, of all, smooth like a Ken doll. I think we all know that. <laughs> Like there's no way that th if there's if there's some person out there, that hoverboard. he does not have genitalia. I'm no, saying this right alien. now, and he's I know planted. I know we're on Facebook right now, Mark. If you're listening, we're not on Facebook. You do not have genitalia. We're not on Facebook. No. Oh, you should get on that. It's a very good website. <laughs> <laughs> I do think there's a correlation between me not responding to a recruitment email from OnlyFans. I know. And them needing money. <laughs> the best thing I saw. They, they really scraped the barrel. They were like, please. The best thing I saw, it was like, this news came out two days after Rachel Dolezal started an <laughs> <Yes>. OnlyFans. <laughs> and, and, be, and they were like, no, 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 no naked pictures anymore. <laughs> People were like, no, no, Nothing no. Nothing explicit. Oh, man. Yeah. No one, uh, no one want to see that. Dolezal. I've got like really fucked yeah. up thoughts about what that would be. Uh, well, you know, uh, he she definitely would try to put it in the ebony section of the porn She'd site. She'd be like, you can touch my hair. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Pay me $50. Oh, Jesus. She's What's going on, Frantifa? If you haven't already, subscribe to this channel right now. Hit that button. And also, you can become a patron and support the show every single week. Get access to bonus episodes and exclusive merchandise. Patreon.com slash Bituation Room. Do it.